Hello everyone, welcome back to our little machete game asset tutorial. We're going to start on the unwrap now. So when we left off last time, we had just finished the model. Uh, we have the nice curved blade, we have the handguard, the grip and the pommel. So we need to now unwrap these so that we can bring them out the substance painter and give us a texture ready to put it in game. So what I want to do is just select all four of my objects. Uh, make sure that I'm not in sub-object mode, make sure I'm not still in polygon mode for any of these, for whatever reason. So right click, make sure I'm on top level. Select all four, and then in my modifier list, I will scroll down and choose Unwrap UVW. So we can see it will apply some green seams here. Not necessarily the seams that we want, we want to add our own. So what we're going to do is scroll down the modifier panel to open UV editor. Let's stretch this up a bit, see what we've got. So when we're unwrapping, we want our entire model to fit within this uh, square here. Uh, let's just go over to polygon mode. So vertex edge polygon. If I click polygon mode and select all of these. Make sure we get absolutely everything. Uh, you'll see that I've now highlighted all of my model and the first thing I want to do is get rid of those existing seams and also sort this out a wee bit, it's a little bit messy so if I just hit this uh, quick planar map button that will give us a, it'll get rid of our green seams and you'll see that little yellow plane shows the direction we're looking here not necessarily very useful right now but certainly better than we had before and we can work with it and start breaking this apart piece by piece so when we've done that, we're going to just move this little guy over off the side of our UV map here so that we can start breaking them up. So let's start with the blade. Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm going to start just chopping this out. I'm going to keep the left side and the right side as complete pieces. So best way for me to select those. Um, okay, possibly the fastest way I can do this is in my polygon mode. If I just select all the way down here along one side. Uh, I'm not going to go right to the end. I'm just going to go to the middle and leave a little border around. Because I have a grow button here. If I hit grow, pop, that will just select everything around that. All of those are now selected. And I can go to my explode button. Hit break and remove that from my model. Now if I hit peel, we have that little part of the blade. I will start to rotate that around. Uh, I've still got my angle snaps on here. At this point I can turn that off just to fine tune that a little bit more. Just to get that as close to vertical as I can. I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. If you didn't see that, we're in polygon mode. We're selecting all of these polys. just along the middle, because I've got three rows here, uh, select the middle ones, uh, except for the edge, I'm just going to hit grow, and that will just expand my selection by one layer of polygons outwards, that gives me all those, once again I hit break here, underneath the we explode section, looks like a piece of cloth being torn apart, hit break, come down to peel, quick peel with a little lightning bolt, and there is our second piece of uh, blade, we'll just orient that vertically as well. Now on the blade then that leaves is just with the spine down the back. Now how could we quickly select that? Over here we can just about see it uh, and if I select one of these polys we can see where that's actually selecting. So what we can do here is click the little element button here beside our polygon, if we click that, instead of now selecting one poly, it will select the whole thing, uh, the whole UV island. So that's going to do all down there, uh, and it will also do underneath and right through to here. So that's actually quite handy for us. We're going to hit break again, and now we're going to hit peel, and that should give us a nice straight strip of polygons. I will just pull it to the side to see what that is. Now that's the whole of the spine uh, from from the top of the back here, just going right underneath and up that side. 
that uh, that's quite nice actually I can live with that so I'm just going to straighten that up let me slide that again a little bit fiddling on the controls just straighten that as close to vertical as I can get reason being if I can get everything vertical and horizontal nicely uh, if I can get everything vertical and horizontal it will pack it will pack together nicer into this square space uh, kind of like flat packing some IKEA furniture the more orderly this is the better it will pack the more efficient our UV unwrap will be uh, okay that's the blade done that was quite simple let's move on now uh, I want to do this hand guard or the, the grip because you can see a couple of nice unwrappable shapes in there already and I'm going to just do a manual reselection here like so and that will give us just on the near side uh, I'll come around to the, the back unfortunately there's no back face selection in UV mode in Max not that I can find anyway so I'm using a combination of selecting and then manually clicking and that's the first wee shape that I want to click that little bit in there I'm sort of envisioning that will be wood or leather or something and this other sort of bulky piece will be uh, maybe brass or metal so I've selected that, we hit break we'll pull it off to the side here we hit peel and that will peel out quite nice, that's a nice shape of a piece I'm going to pull that off to the side, I'm actually going to pull all of these pieces just uh, so I can see what I've got done there's my blade up there, the three pieces there is that little uh, hand rest and you notice when we hit peel it sizes up to the entirety of the UV map so this is obviously now the same size as the blades that's incorrect but don't worry about it, we can fix that at the end uh, what I'm going to do now is just manually select uh, let me see, I can actually do these all four at once so hold control and select these just select all four of them as best you can now as I say we can't select the back faces so don't worry about selecting anything on the back side accidentally but we're going to select all of these and what we can actually do once we've got them all selected is we can hit break on all four of these together and you'll see the green seams appear around all four at once and we can also peel all four of them at once if we hit quick peel you'll see what happens there all four of them uh, peeled and fit in at once so that is that that leaves us then just with uh, the top, the bottom, and then this what would I would call the the brass piece. So I wonder can I right click, hide unselected? That's not going to do us any favors. Okay, I'm going to go just temporarily right click top level. I'm just going to select this one object. Right click, hide unselected. So now when I click this and come back into my open UV editor, now all the rest is gone. Don't worry, they're still part of the same UV unwrap. Uh, I've just hidden them temporarily for now I just want to cut this top surface I'm going to go to my edge mode I'm going to double click a couple of times here just to select all four edges now realistically what we could have done if I'd have been a bit clever in the previous video uh, if I just hit break now that I've got that I could have actually deleted that top surface because we're never ever going to see it it doesn't need to be there and it's one less thing that we need to then spend 10 seconds unwrapping but minor detail we'll just quickly break them now and what I want to do is I've got this uh, piece here that will look nice fold it out as brass but I can't fold it out because it's running the whole uh, width round so my easiest solution is just take a little line here at the back just snip this hit my brick uh, and up at the top snip up here as well and hit break and then if I come over here in my element mode and I select that let me see I'm just going to polygon mode it's easier to see when they're all uh, when they're all selected so let me just check am I showing the correct thing in the video yes I am just had a fear of that myself on the title screen there uh, when I have all of this and I've got that little seam down the back just snip down the back if I uh, it's already broke, I'll just hit break to be sure if I hit quick peel there we are, look at that lovely shape that is perfect so I can pull that off to the side there 
uh, and there's my little top and bottom caps I'll just hit quick peel just to flatten those out make sure they're not that we'll see them anyway but just make sure they are laid out correctly and uh, as always even if we're not going to see them it is important that they are laid vertically horizontally like so so let me pull all of these elements just over to one side here and that's that so top level uh, unhide all just right click unhide all there's my whole model again and if I want to see the entire thing unwrapped remember just select them all and with all four of them selected into my UV editor and there is everything we've done so far the blade and the uh, hand grip so I'm going to just skip straight to the little uh, panel down at the bottom I'm hoping that should just take a few seconds to unwrap completely uh, I'm going to go to my edge mode I'm going to deselect this element mode I don't need that right now uh, I'm going to just select this edge and brick this edge here inside and we'll just break that as well and I will just select one edge here if we imagine this is kind of like a a rolled up piece of paper we just select one edge and trim up it so we can flatten it out let me see now what can we do here if I select my polygon mode select one uh, there's no quick way of selecting that over here um, if I select my element mode actually we can't just select it right now if I select this actually yeah that's okay it might select the bit over the top which we could actually just move over to the left here that's handier select this in element mode you'll see what it's doing it's selecting the entire UV island that we select so we can uh, just separate these out uh, piece by piece I can now hit peel on this it gets us a wee circular ring I can select the vertical selection there if I hit peel here because we've got that little snip to it it straightens that out and again don't worry that they're all out of scale at the minute we can fix that later on uh, this little piece here it's just a circle let me see what happens if I just peel that without doing anything it's a little bit distorted I can maybe relax this a little bit yeah just clicking the little relax button here um, there's only a tiny element I'm not too worried about it that's fine that's good enough for now for what we're doing uh, that leaves us the last little bit to do here it leaves us the hand guard and I think this is possibly going to be one of the harder pieces to do so let's see how do I want to do this I think we've got these two nice middle strips here they would work better if they were separated out on their own so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my edge mode I'm going to deactivate this element mode just so I can select the individual edges and if I just come to the edge and I double click here let me see what that gets me it goes all the way around uh, and it stops up here at the top uh, that's good that's exactly what I want so I'll just uh, hit break on that I'll select this little top edge here hold control select this little top edge and break uh, down this side I will double click and break and I need to do the same on the bottom I need to if I can roll around here just like this one and this one and break and what that will give us then is if I go back to the polygon and my element mode just separate these oops just separate these out there's just that single strip there and I can hit peel on that that'll straighten that out nicely so that was the outside strip we can repeat that process with the inside strip let me show you that again edge mode without element double click and brick around the other side we can double click that we inside edge and brick select these two control click control click brick And along the inside, click, click, 
brick. There we go, that is perfect. By the polygon mode and the UV editor by the element mode. Let's just select what we have here. Oh, it hasn't broken. I've missed something along the way there. Let me just double check. I've got a seam, I've got a seam. Ah, up here. Forgot to do these. Have I? Who should be broken? Something is not. Oh, hello. Uh, under here, because we have that little inset. Yes, my green seam went as far as here, but didn't go all the way. So, okay, back to edge mode. And double click here. Let's see how far that takes us. Just up to there. Uh, select this a little bit. Break again. Uh, this one will actually be a little bit different. I totally forgot I put this little bit of geometry in here. So we'll need to just account for that. So again, I'm just following around that edge. Make sure I'm slightly right there. And hitting brick. And now I'll actually just select around this ring here. That should all be one. That was a nice clean inset, so it should all be one. And just break that as well. So what that should allow us now is back in our UV editor, if we go to polygon mode and select the entire element, uh, that's that little strip there. And it should look a bit like a watch strap or something. If we just hit pin, there we are. So there is the, the inside and the outside. A little bit wiggly, a little bit wavy, but close enough, good enough. Uh, okay, that leaves us with this little piece here. Easiest way to break that nicely. Edge mode, turn off element. We will just go all the way around here, double click, and we'll break that. And we'll just do one single little break up here as well, just for this uh, vertical sort of ring that we can flatten it out. So back in our UV editor now, select that element, and then we have just that flat wee surface. We'll peel it, we'll move it out here to the side. This little ring here, we'll peel it, move it out to the side. Now because it was a bit of a wonky shape, it's uh, it's not very straight, but that's okay. We'll just straighten up as best we can. That'll do. And that just leaves us really then with uh, this piece. Now it's a little bit complicated because we've got that little uh, inset there. So let me see, what do I think is the best way to unwrap this? Um, Ultimately, what I want to do is maybe get this in as few pieces as possible. So rather than doing the top and the sides and the bottom, I think actually the neatest way I can do this is to just cut it here along this edge. Uh, let me show you. Here, here, and here, and then also inside this wee corner. Uh, and inside this wee corner here as well. If I just put a little snip here, hit uh, break, uh, and then I follow that down along here to the bottom side. If I select these little edges, it's very fiddly work. We have to select them manually, and we're getting at some weird angles, but. It will give us a nice shape if I now hit break here. That will give us uh, back in my editor. Uh, leave us this little edge here. So you can see the shape that we've selected. Now where this can get a little bit troublesome is if I hit peel. It's, uh, that's not too bad a peel actually. It's okay. It's a bit curvy. Now what we can do with this is if we want to be really straight with it, we can go up here to reshape elements and hit straighten. And you see what that does, it straightened it out. Now it's kind of messed up our proportions a wee bit. So if we hit relax, this hopefully will work. Uh, not great actually, not great. I'll hit straighten again. We're a little bit skewed on our proportions. If we hit this maybe a couple of times, Uh, let me see if I go back and peel it while it's straightened and then straighten again. It's not bad, it's not a perfect result, but it will it will do for all that we're going to see in that wee part there. 
it is probably good enough. So that is that. I want to do the same on the other side now. That little uh, relax and straighten, uh, sorry, peel, relax, straighten process, I use that a lot. It's my go-to um, for unwrapping a lot of stuff, but it doesn't always work. Sometimes 3ds Max just doesn't like the the straighten and relax. So I'm just selecting these again, hitting break, going down to the underside. Selecting these guys all the way around. And it's important to get this little bit in here and this little bit here on top. Uh, break those and that will allow us to come back in here, select that whole thing. Now unfortunately the entire select element doesn't work out here. I'll just select individual polys. But over here in the UV editor, it will we select that. So again, we will zoom out a little bit. We'll go quick peel. Gives us that curvy version. Let's straighten. And not 100% perfect, but good enough for our work. So that just leaves us with these two wee bits here. These kind of little boxy shapes. What is my best way to unwrap those? Um, let me see. If I think of these as actual, say, the cardboard boxes, do you know what I'm going to do? I am just going to I'm just going to go to my edge mode here and you have to think about this as if it's real on folding paper I'm just going to select this little bit and this little bit and uh, I'm going to hit break and then right here same on the other side hit break now that will hopefully uh, that's this one. This may or may not work. If I hit peel on that, yeah, there we go. It's a little bit wonky. I can actually hit relax here. No, not perfect. Straighten and relax. I think my best result was just with the initial peel. It's a little bit skewed out of shape. So what I will do is, I could actually, if I want, really what I can do is I can manually select some of these. Uh, let me just move this off to the side here. I know that, just looking at that shape, these should maybe be up in a bit more. This guy should be down straight. This guy should be down a bit more. So we just manually position that and what should be more closer to the, the actual shape. And yeah, that's good. So last little piece here. Uh, I'll do the same on the top. That was a nice wee result. This is oddly the, the fiddliest wee piece of this whole whole model here. Uh, go to my edge mode again. Select you, select you. Break. Select you, select you. And break. And now with that whole little element, I can now uh, peel you. And we're getting the same thing again. It's close, but just to be precise, we can manually adjust this. Uh, we'll go back to our vertexes, just unselect that element mode. Just that wee center piece, that should be a straight. These should be down a little bit more. These should be up a little bit more. I'll look closer at the original shape. So there we go, we've now unwrapped absolutely everything. All of the model has been separated piece by piece. Uh, this one little bit here, do you know what, we'll just grab it. Um, yeah, we'll just hit straighten on that, just for the sheer fun of it. There we go, that's it, nice and straight there. Probably not perfect, but again, it's not a piece that we're going to be seeing very much. That'll do fine. Uh, yeah, that's a nice little unwrap there. Everything looks very, very nice. They are all out of scale with each other though. So all we have to do now is select absolutely everything on the model. And we can look here, yes, that's everything. If we scroll down towards the bottom to where it says arrange elements, we want to hit this little button here, rescale elements, and that will rescale everything in their correct sizes uh, according to each other. Except it didn't. 
That did not do what it should have done. Okay, let me just try uh, pack custom. How does that work? Okay, if I hit pack custom, it has made them the correct scale, but we're not getting them using that space efficiently. Okay, why is that? Let me see. This is behaving a little bit peculiarly. They're now all scaled correctly, but as you can see, we've got a lot of wasted space in that UV map. Uh, let me play with this a second, see what's going on. I'm going to pause the video here, have a little play around, and I'll come back shortly, and we'll figure this one out. Oh no, my pause button's disappeared. Okay, I guess we'll to figure this one out together. My pause button on OBS has disappeared, so let's see what's going on. Uh... Do you know what we could do? Uh, it's not the best thing to do. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I bet you I know. I know why it's doing this. Uh, it has, in fact, scaled this up as best as it can. What has given us the problem here is if I pull this over at the side, this tall little strip here is what's given us our problems. This has been scaled up as big as it can go and everything else is scaled according to that. So what I can do is just come back to my model here and if I select these edges here and here, so that's there. If I just break those off, that'll make those in a smaller, uh, smaller chunks. Should free us up a bit of space. Likewise, down here on the bottom, I select all these little pieces. If I break those and move them, uh, it does give me this one long continuous piece up the spine. But now what I can do is repack these again. And it should give us a little bit of a better result. There we go. That's much better. Uh, Yes, so that one long piece was so long that when everything else was scaled to it, it didn't give us a lot of use for the space. Now, uh, we could, we're making use of a lot of that space there. The blades are taking up as much of that as they can. One thing we could do actually to make this more efficient is we could take these blades here. I'll, I'll just pull it back. It's hard to see what's happening, so I'll pull it all off to the side. If I perhaps take this blade and rotate it 45 degrees, and then take this one and rotate it 45 degrees, and even some of these longer pieces, and rotate them 45 degrees. Uh, this is this may or may not work. Let me just see. How does this pack up? Uh, well, you can see what I was trying to do there, but it doesn't really work too well. Um, okay, it doesn't really give us a better result as such. So let's just undo that. We'll keep it all nice and orderly. Generally, we like to have everything vertical anyway. Um, we can make it handier to paint and substance painter. What we could do. Let me just toggle that off actually, that's better. What we could do is we can make our little pommel pieces, uh, just give them a bit more space on there, and maybe some of our little leather pieces. So let's select some of these. Now what it means is the, the texture density will be different. If we scale certain pieces up, the texture density will be different, but I'm not too worried. I mean we're making things slightly better than they were. So you can go up here out of the way. Our little pommel piece is there. And that was a little cord that goes along with it. Uh, you can go out of the way up here as well. You are not what I want, so you can go up here out of the way. Don't need you little blade pieces, we need to leave those the same size that they are. 
We'll shift them up here out of the way. And just all those wee bits that belong to our handguard. We're just going to scale those up. Literally just to make the most of this space. If I select these two, come up to the top, rotate to the right, put them in there. Just pack that space a bit better. And I'll take you, I'll actually rotate you this way. And there is that whole, whole object. We'll pull it down here. And we'll just scale that up. There, if nothing else, our little handguard has a bit more texture density to it. really maximizing the use of that space. We can't make this much bigger. But maybe we just make the main area of the panel bigger. There we go. Uh, texture densities are a little bit different now. Uh, this will be a wee bit better density of texture than the blades, but it's all okay. That's a pretty good efficient unwrap. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that there like that. So what we'll do is we will close here, right click, make sure we're on top level. We'll select all of that. We will save our file and we will export the selected objects uh, just as our machete. Now one thing uh, to be aware of, we use Turbo Smooths in this video. Now, this is something I failed to mention in previous videos uh, where we use Turbo Smooth. When you go to export your FBX in the little geometry section here, you need to uncheck Turbo Smooth. Now, this will be on as default, you need to uncheck it. Uh, reason being, if we go into something like Substance Painter, Substance Painter doesn't know what Turbo Smooth is, it just sees a low poly model. Uh, without a turbo smooth. 3ds Max we have a low poly model with a turbo smooth applied. When we put that into Substance Painter it just sees the low poly model and that can mess with our UVs. So if we have turbo smooths on our object in here which we did do we have to uncheck this option for turbo smooth and that will make sure that we don't have any funny little issues. If your UV map goes a bit crazy when we bring it into the, the next step or your texture program. This is your likely culprit here. Just make sure Turbo Smooth is unchecked. Hit OK and we'll get this. That's fine. Hit OK. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one where we will texture it in Substance Painter. Thank you very much guys. See you next time.